Yeah, try Okay, there are. Okay. There are. I don't know how the formula comes. Okay, wait, let me see. Okay. Oh, this is a fixed formula. Okay, so let me let me share my screen with you. Huh? Yes. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so basically, uh, what you are want is the distance formula. That means Okay, given a x y coordinate, okay, given x y coordinate, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, given any two points. So let's say I take this point and this point. So this point here is uh, x one and y one, correct? This uh -huh. point yeah. here is yeah. x two and y two, okay? So if I want to find uh -huh. the distance between any two points, okay? So imagine. Uh, uh -huh. uh, basically, simply put, this is actually a uh, Pythagoras theorem. Okay, why? Because if uh -huh. I look at it, this is actually a right angle triangle, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if this is a right angle triangle, now, what is the x value over here? This x value over here is actually over. x2, correct? Yeah. Correct. That means the distance, so this x value over here is x1, correct? Yeah. Similarly, over here, the y value here is y1. The y value over here is? Y2. Y2, correct? So this distance here is what? Yeah. X2 minus X1, correct? Yes. Yeah. This distance here is what? Y2 minus uh, Y2 y1, y1, correct? Yeah. Correct? And what does uh, Pythagoras theorem tell us? Uh, C, C squared plus B squared. B oh, no. square plus B square square root, correct? Uh-huh. Correct, that is Pythagoras theorem, correct? Yeah. So the same thing applies here. That means the distance here from this point A, if I call this A and I call this B, the distance here from A oh. to B is actually this X2 minus X1 square, which is your A, correct? Uh -huh. Yeah. Plus y2 minus y1 square, which is your, this b over here, correct? Yeah. And this whole thing? So, so basically, the Pythagoras theorem to solve. Correct. Only thing is, uh, okay, so yeah. in, in a coordinate system, uh, they don't explicitly give you a and b, they give you the coordinate over here, and they give you the coordinate over here, correct? Yeah. Yeah, they never explicitly say what is a and b, but a and b, in essence, is actually the the distance of the right angle triangle that you form between these two points here. Okay, I see. Okay. You can. You can. So can I ask you another question? Yeah, sure. Okay, I will send you. Okay. So the question 11. Question. Okay, so let me. Uh, so this is question 11. So let me quickly write down the question. The vertices of triangle PQR are such that P is 1 and 3. Q is uh, 5 and 4, and R is 5 and 15, correct? Okay? Yeah. And they say find the length of the perpendicular from Q to PR. Okay, so let's see how to do this. 
so let me just uh, draw the axis first so this is x this is y okay so let's label the points so p is 1 and 3 so this is 1 so maybe this is 3 okay so this is p okay uh, Q yeah. is 5 and 4, so this is 5, 2, 3, 4, five. so somewhere around here, 5 and 4. So this is, okay. this is your Q, correct? And mm -hmm. R is 5 mm -hmm. and 15, so R is 5 and 15, this is uh, around here somewhere, correct? Let me see much higher up here, correct? So R is going to be here, 5 and 15, correct? Because for Q and R, yeah. uh, the X value is the same, correct? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So Q is here, R is just above Q, but it's much higher, correct? Yeah. Okay, so now let's uh, draw the triangle first. So the triangle looks like this. It looks something like this, correct? And they ask you yeah. to find the length of the perpendicular from Q to PR. That means they're asking you to find what well, they're asking you to find this length here. They, so they're asking to find the parameter. Huh? No, no, no. They're asking to find the length of the perpendicular. That means if I were to draw a perpendicular line from Q to PR, this is PR, correct? Uh -huh. This side is PR, and I want to find the length of the perpendicular from Q to PR okay so that is what I supposed to find okay uh, okay okay. Uh, okay okay so how do I go about doing this hmm? how do I go about doing this okay so in order to do this there is a, a two-step process okay so what do we know about area of triangle half times length times b correct so we know the area of triangle is half base height correct yeah okay but the important thing of this is what the height must be the perpendicular height correct yeah okay now if i look at this triangle here this triangle here if i take rq as the base Okay, if I take RQ as the base here, then what is the perpendicular uh -huh. height? I can say the perpendicular height is actually, I can extend this and I can say this is the perpendicular height, correct? Yeah. Okay, so the height will be what? And the height will be equals to this distance, which is 1 to 5. 5 minus, minus 1, 4. 4, correct? And what is the base? Four. Base is the difference between R and Q, the correct? Base. Yeah. Which is 15 minus, uh, minus 4. Which is 11, correct? Yeah. Okay, so from this, uh, I can find my area, correct? Which is half uh -huh, uh -huh. times 4 times 11, which is 11 times 2 will be 22, correct? 22, yeah. Okay, so now I know that this is the area. Now I can apply this same approach. But now I say that I want to find the area based on half base height. But in this case, the base is what? Base is PR multiplied by this H. The H is the unknown. The H is what you want to find, correct? H is the perpendicular length from the Q to PR, correct? Yeah. So H is what you want to find out, correct? Yeah. Now, area you just found out. So, you know the answer for the area, which is 22, correct? 22, yeah. So, what is PR? PR, PR is the length, uh, yeah. correct? Yeah, 1 minus 5. No, not 1 minus 5. You can only do directly if it is on the same X value or same Y value, correct? But this uh -huh, is uh -huh. a different XY, this is a different XY. So, I need to do what? I need to do... What I did just now, the distance formula. Uh -huh. Okay, so I need to apply the distance formula to find the length between P and R. Uh, okay. 
uh, for RQ, we directly say it's 15 minus 4 because the X value is the same, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, for this, we directly say it's 5 minus 1 because the Y value is the same. Can you see? Mm -hmm. But when the X, Y values yeah. are different between two points, then you have to use the distance formula. So the PR, the value of PR, will be equals to 5 minus 1, which is this and this correct square mm -hmm. plus 15 minus 3 square whole thing square root can you see can you see why how i get the formula yes so this is 4 square plus 12 square, Two square. Oh, 12. Okay. correct so what's, yeah. the, what's the final answer for PR? Can you can you calculate it? Tell me. Four okay. square plus twelve square yeah. whole thing square root. What do I what do you get? Okay, four square is sixteen. Mm. Uh -huh. That twelve square. Four square is what? Tell me. Uh, one four four. One four four. Correct then. Then, so one four four plus sixteen is what? Um, one six one zero one six zero. Correct. Yeah. So the square root of one six zero is twelve point six five. Correct. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what do you have? So you have half times. 12.65 times h is equals to 22, correct? So, yeah. So, now can you find h? So, 12.65 divided by 2 is 6.32. So, this is 6.32 h is equals to 22. So, h is equals to 22, 22 divided by 6.32, which is 3.48. Can? Oh uh, yeah, wait. Okay, can. Okay, so you see, okay, whenever you want to find the length, or sorry, the distance and length between two points, you have to use the distance formula. Okay, the only time you can directly sort of subtract is if the x values for both the points are the same, or the y values for both the points are the same. Then you just directly subtract the difference. Okay, if not, you have to use the distance formula. Uh, okay. Can? Okay, sir. Yes, can. Any other questions? Uh, no. Okay. Good. Okay, so. Uh, can, can. Okay, okay, good. So, thank you for joining in today. Um, yeah. uh, any any other time you want to have a consultation, you just message me. Lah. Then uh, we can. Uh, uh, we can. Okay, can create a new session okay okay okay, okay. okay. thank you thank you bye bye